Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steeped in tradition, ripe with memorable moments, some of them among the greatest in college football history. Boston College hoping to make another mark today with a huge opportunity at home. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. We're here at Chestnut Hill on the beautiful campus of Boston College for today's matchup. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Brad, this is going to be kind of exciting to see this young man take his first snap at the college level. A lot of hype, a lot of expectations. Let's see if he can block that out and just try to lead this football team down the field. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. make the stop right around the 20. The option is all about timing. And on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. And he hits him hard at the 35-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. He fights forward to about the 49. Two yards there on the option keeper. That time, it was the sophomore corner who got in there to make the tackle. Quick. He's got another one. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. A five-yard gain. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Big opening. And he is drilled at the 36. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. First and 10. Ball on the 36. He makes his way to about the 22. That's good for a game of 14 yards. First down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. The ten. He gets out to about the eight. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and goal. Yeah. 
Nice run up the middle. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, OU! He makes the PA team. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Tigers came into today's game ranked number one in the country. Boy, is their critics going to have a field day after this performance. Well, well, look what's going on here. Just when you thought you had this game all figured out, the script gets split. Fitzpatrick, sticky hands, made an appearance as he caught a touchdown pass. The Cardinals win it 24-17. In other games, the Hokies were ranked 24th. Now the loss is likely to knock them out of the polls. It felt as if the game rested on every play. Penn State grabs the W by a touchdown. Wow, you can feel the shock wave right, caused by that turn. upset all the way to our game. Ohio, ready to kick this one off. Levy fields it at the two. And down he goes at the 20. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Personal foul, clipping, receiving team. That one's going to put him way Still back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Tackled for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the eight. And here's a quick throw. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That is not easy to stop. The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep. And as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. And as you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. The defender had it and then dropped it. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. That brings us fourth and seven. Carlson awaits the snap. Oh, excellent punt. Buckner fields it at the 26. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. And he shoved out of bounds at the 46. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. Ohio is up seven. Down he goes at the 44. Throws 
into the coverage is picked off. And just a great interception by the quarterback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. From their own 35-yard line, first down. They'll run it inside and tackle quickly. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. He's at midfield. He's finally tackled at the 35. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Boston College has got a guy behind center that can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet and his arm. With this guy, it's PYP. Pick your poison. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Going for it all to the end zone. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It has the distance, and he missed it left. No good. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Tackle at the 48. That's a team 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and 10. Ohio is up a score. a great tackle at the 45 yard line well the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker and he got through almost untouched it's second down now 13 to go ball on the 45 yard line and he's tackled at about the 43 yard line That'll make it 31. Zips it to the tight end. He's pushed out of bounds. Around the 36 yard line. First down. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. He gets rid of this one. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. A little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third That's down. when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Throws in a hurry. Almost picked off. 
Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. That makes it fourth and long. Ohio up seven points. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Bobcats have a new head man. New theories, new hopes, new dreams. Will there be new wins? We'll find out. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Complete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. From their own 32-yard line, second down. Flips it middle to the running back. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. He'll get it again. He's at the 30, brought down at the 22-yard line. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. They'll bring him down at the 22. No game. Third down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Hey, I got number 80. I got number 80. Shot, shot. Here comes the pressure. The pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Long the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Boston College is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Hey, what's the ball? What's the ball? Ohio is up by four. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. That's good for a game of 19 yards. First down. And he's tackled no, after positive great. yardage. That's, That's a gain, a gain of four on one play. play. That makes that it makes second it and six. six. I got you, son. I got you. You're all mine. You're all mine, baby. Tackle made oh, at the 44 the yard line. Haynes makes, makes the tackle at the 44 yard line. line. That, that makes, makes it first and ten. ten. Quick pass, and down he goes at the 34. Call it a gain of 10 yards. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 7-3, Bobcats.
And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. He makes his way out to about the 25. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First down. Two ties, two ties. Four down, four down. Ohio holds a four-point lead. They'll run it. Allison's with the run. That's a team of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. under pressure. Myers incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away. And it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. And he's taken down at the 27 yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's going to try and scramble. And he's level at the 38 yard line. Makes it out to about the 46. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. He makes his way to about the 45. Makes it out to about the 36. That brings up second and one. Nice run to the left there. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the 29. Ready. Green on the top. Here he goes. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice seven play, 73 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Boston College, the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Allison gets the carry. And they push him out at the 39. That's good for a game of 14 yards. First down. Here's the give, and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. That's a game of two. That makes it second and eight. Gets to about the 41-yard line. out to his wideout. Good open field tackle. Palmer makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. First down. Mike 28. Mike 28. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. That's a game on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll drop him for a loss. It's got to be frustrating for this offense to go backwards. But they've just got to stick with it and know that big plays will eventually happen. The Bobcats had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. And he just gets rid of it. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Ohio is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it falls short. No good. Not a lot of success on that kick. This one's all even at 10. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He goes out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. He's got an opening. Gets to around the 42. That makes it first and ten. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. Throws incomplete. Can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. That makes it second and ten. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. He scrambled. He's taken down around the 21 yard line. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll make it down to five. Quick 
quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. They know what to expect on third down, and we're right in place to break up the pass. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Boston College could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Levy is back to receive. Brought down at the 43. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Boston College is up by three. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. That makes it second and six. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's on the run. Ball is loose. Fumble. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. And he's taken down at the 39-yard line. So it's the cornerback that comes up with a fumble, and this ball will change hands. Fumbles will absolutely drown an offense. It's hard to get into a rhythm when you make mistakes like that. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's under some heat. Going deep. Incomplete. Almost picked off. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From the 39-yard line, second down. Looks middle, got his back. He's at the 30, he's at the 20. To the 10, and he scores! Touchdown! He makes the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Longhorns come into this one ranked 13th. And for Texas, they're looking to win two in a row. Johnson's game is solid. He has a touchdown catch. Texas on top, 7-0, early in the second quarter. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, across the 30. And he's taken down at the 50-yard line. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Get to that quickly. 
He's tackled at the 44. Flowers picks him up six yards with a catch. They're about four yards away here on second down. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. That'll make it 39. Now he's scrambling. He takes off. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. He's scrambling. He's at the 20. Brought down at the 11-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. It's on the ground. Scoots it up. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. It's second and eight. Ball on the 18. We've still got a half of football remaining. Ohio's up by four. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Sometimes it's great to think outside the box, and I applaud both of these defensive coordinators for thinking differently. I, I, clearly their plan, David, was to let the opposing offense run up and down the field until they got really tired. <laughs> yeah, Reese, that's your favorite term. That's hot garbage. They, they got to do something different. That, it was discouraging to watch. You, know, you always talk about the body is willing, or the mind is willing, is the body capable? How does that saying go? Uh, the mind is, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The spirit, okay, do you hear that saying, the spirit is willing and the flesh is weak? I think everything about their flesh was weak. That was pathetic. No thank you. If you're going to do that again, don't even show up in your pads. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf? Some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Very close game now as we start the second half. Right at the deep two He's to the 20. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. You know who's been wreaking havoc again. Well, Brad, to me, it really just looks like it's just men against boys out there. This guy's been in on so many plays. It's like his own highlight film. And I think the thing that the offense is struggling to stop is just his overall speed. The offensive line is underestimating, and quite honestly, I just don't think they have the physical manpower to be able to slow him down, prevent him from making plays. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they make the stop at the 21-yard line. And a quick throw. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. He makes his way to about the 38. Has some 
daylight. Nice run there. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. He scrambles. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle made at the 47. throw and it's intercepted he just jumped up and snatched that ball well there I don't think the quarterback even saw him the defender went up into the air and made a great catch first down 10 yards to go Ball on the 30. The Eagles running back taken out earlier, sidelined with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. He gets to about the 41 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Ohio is up by four. And they'll get him in the backfield. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. That makes it second and 14. From their own 37-yard line, second down. He makes his way to about the 48. Play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. Wilson is the punter. Offense comes back out looking to improve from their last effort. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. Second down and 14. Ball on their own 25. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. There's a very impressive open field tackle. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. They'll spread the field with five wide. Wide out makes the first down catch. Slings it. They come out in a five wide set. Looks to him again, complete. Good tackle there in space. And 
Murray's going to come up with a sack. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and it cause him some problems. And here's another third down. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. Five yards. He executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. He gets it up. Well, they leave three points on the field there. Still, our score, 17-13, Ohio. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Ohio is up four. Allison on the run. He picks it up. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Makes it to the 34. tackled after positive yardage. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well executed option play. The blocking was there, and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Seven yard scamper on the keeper. That'll make it second and four. Gets hit out of bounds at the 13. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Tackle that after decent pickup. That's good for a game seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's knocked out of bounds at the five. Gain of one on the play. Third down. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Number three. At the, the six-yard six yard line. line. That, that brings, brings up fourth and three. three. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks away, and he's got it. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio's offense was rolling along earlier, and now they have gone ice cold in the third quarter. Brad, they almost look like a different team. It's like they've come out of the locker room a little bit flat here in the second half. We'll see if they can 
have something happen, something to spark them and maybe get their mojo going before they end up losing this ball game. Ohio with a one-point lead. They go with a run. Tackle at the 36. Makes the tackle. That's, That's good, good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike, And he throws it away. It's second and 10. Ball on the 36. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out at about the 47 yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. They bring him down in the backfield. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Out of bounds at the 46. That's a gain of four on the way. That makes it third and eleven. Throws it deep. No, incomplete. Puts the intended receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and eleven. Ohio, up a point. He's tackled at the 22. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's tackled right around the 20. That's a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. That's three down and one to go. The Bobcats lead it by one. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Eddie's getting the ball here. Eddie's getting the ball. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 28-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Out of bounds around the 32 yard line. That's good for a game of four yards. Fourth down. Carlson awaits the snap. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Ohio is up one. Up the middle for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Carry. 
gain of 10 yards. First down. Three down, three down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. How about that play right there? Zone coverage by the defense, and the linebacker is quick enough to react and get a hand on the ball to force the incompletion. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Fires quickly to the tight end. Brought down at the 31. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. They'll bring him down right around the 30. That's a good game. That brings up second and nine. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Here's the eighth play of the series. Ohio with a one-point lead. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's tackled around the 26-yard line. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks up, and he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 2016, Ohio. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And they make the stop at the 31 yard line. Hudson brings him down at the 31 yard line. That'll make it second and four. One's incomplete. The receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. No, he couldn't. And I'll tell you what, the quarterback was conscious of the blitz that time by the defense. That may have been the reason that he overthrew the football. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Fires complete over the middle. And down he goes at the 50. They'll work the left. Nice run there. That makes it second and two. Tackle me around the 45 yard line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. They're about four yards away here on third down. Three down, three down. 49 to fight, watch 49. Ready, 390. Caught, open field, and he's taken down at the 36-yard line. That's just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. After a nice run up the middle. Fires that quick 
practically incomplete. Yo, what's the intended receiver on the play? That'll bring up third They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Williams, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Eagle! That's a great tackle at the 22 yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Gets it out quickly. And he shoved out of bounds at the 13-yard line. That brings up second and one. Offense lines up in a five-wide set and a defense anticipating pass here. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. Touchdown, and now they're in front. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's check in on a pair of top 25 teams. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Texas, they've now moved out in front. The Longhorns have the lead, 24-21. Field goal difference in this one, Reese, 23-20. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 29. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down at about the 35. Gain of six on the play. That brings him second and five. Slings it. Tackle at the 48-yard line. Makes the reception. Less than three minutes in the game. Here's the screen to the wideout. And he's stopped behind the line. That makes it second and ten. Excellent open field tackle. Hands with the tackle at the 44 yard line. Gets to about the 41 yard line. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding, Holding. offense. offense. They'll line up for another third down Still play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third down and long, and they could really use a big play by their quarterback here this late in the game. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Number 10 brings him down. Got some open field. He gets out to about the 37 yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line.
and he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. A little over a minute in the game. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. Gain of 10 on the play. First down. Two down, two down. That's 28. 59 Philly. 59 Philly. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. That brings up second and nine. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The Bobcats will use their first time out of the half. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Ohio lines up for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's First check out foul. the penalty. Clipping. Receiving team. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. We're late in the fourth quarter. Great game. A tied football game. And the question now is, who's going to rise to the occasion? Under a minute left. Second, and ten. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 24. He's on the run. The Eagles taking their first time out of the half. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Short over the middle, and he's tackled at the 36. They had a long, long way to go, and the receiver managed to just get enough to pick up the first down. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. They bring him down. That's, That's a loss, a loss of 12, 12 yards on the play. Check, check. That'll Lost make it second and one. Hey, check 24. Watch 24. Here we go. Lighting. Lighting. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. We're going to overtime. That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. Four down, four down. 49 the mic. Watch 49. Let's go. Check, check. Thunder. Thunder. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He gets hit out of bounds around the 20-yard line. Levy picks up around five yards with that catch. Nice 
nice run, and he's brought down. Here's the halfback on the screen. Touchdown, VC. It can be advantageous to have the ball second in overtime, but only if you can make a stop. Now that they gave up the score, they're playing from behind with a ton of pressure on them. And he tacks on the extra point. the 25 yard line first down swatted away great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass that's not an easy play to make that makes it second and ten Watch out here. Brought down at the 23. Makes the reception. Number three makes the tackle at the 23 yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Well, this is why I love the overtime rules in college football. Both teams had a fair shot at it, and they'll get another opportunity to try it again. First and 10, ball in the 25. And here's a quick throw. Incomplete, almost picked off. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. Throws a strike over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Feeds it to the back, and they got him for a loss. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. He heaves it to the end zone. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Right, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Here we go. He makes his way out to about the nine. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. 
and he's immediately tackled. That brings him second in goal. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the four yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Quickly to the tailback, and they make the stop at about the seven yard line. Takes him down for a loss behind the line at the seven yard line. That brings up fourth and goal. So the kicker comes on and tries to send this to another overtime. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. And if two overtimes weren't enough, we are going to a third. And extra points are no longer allowed. If anyone scores a touchdown, they've got to go for two. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 26 yard line, second down. like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds the kicker will line up and try to get the first points in this overtime it's up and he just drilled it from long range This one will fall incomplete. Number three, coverage. That makes it second and ten. From the 25-yard line, it's second down. Out of bounds at the 22. Yard line. So now it will all fall upon the kicker as they need these points to stay in the game. Kicks up and it's through the uprights. Why stop now? We're headed to another overtime period. Throws in a hurry. That close to being intercepted. Second and 10. Ball on the 25. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked.
Gets it. He's in space. He's out of bounds at the 20. That'll bring up fourth and five. And the kicker comes out to try to put three points on the board here in overtime. The kick is up, and it is good. I know they would have rather put the ball in the end zone, but this is still big. Points are points. I think their defense is going to thrive under the circumstances. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. He's tackled at the 18. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Three down, three down. 49 the mic. Watch 49. Ready. Tackle around the four-yard line. Taken down at the four. No game. That brings up second and goal. From the four yard line, second down. And he is drilled at the four yard line. A yard if they're lucky on that pass play. This was just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Big third and goal. Can the defense stop him? Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackle made at the six. That brings up fourth and goal. So the kicker comes on and tries to send this to another overtime. Kicks away, and he got it. This one might never end. We're headed to another overtime. Got a man tackled for a loss. Loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on the 29. Over the middle to his tailback. He's taken down at the 34 yard line. Number 15. 34 yard line. That'll bring up third and long. Three down, three down. 40's Mike, 40's Mike. Here we go. He's looking down the middle. And he hauls it in. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. They'll go for two in this situation. Boston College up six. Let's go. He scrambled. They got it. From the 25 yard line. First down. The 
this one's going deep to the end zone. Touchdown, Touchdown Ohio. So the offense is going to go for two. Scrambling around. And they won't get the two. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, Boston College, 47, Ohio, 45. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.